So now, just before entering in uh, the last, last session, we want to share a very short message from Cardinal Turkson. My dear friends and all of you, dear participants, we've heard this several times over, and we all know, and we've read about it, that it's a not, there's a lot of food produced in the world, and yet so much goes to waste, and that there's still so very many people in the world who go to bed hungry, and that they, we cannot, the world has difficulty ensuring food security for its population. This, of course, is not a moment to think about the balance between wealth population and the ability of the world to feed the population in the world. The discourse, of course, is that the present COVID-19 has revealed this and made it very stark, clear to all of us that our food distribution system leaves a, leaves a lot to desire. And that's why we want to, we want to engage and you know, invite all to consider and to consider how we can deal with this and ensure full security for the, the world's population. Certainly, the, the aspects of this uh, issue are, are, are very uh, multifarious, and they can be discussed from several very many different points of view. We know that the climate and the weather plays a role, and not everybody lives in a part of the world which enjoys such weather to be able to produce and to you know, uh, produce food conveniently and easily. But we also know that there's still a lot and abundance of food in the world that still goes away. So how do we balance them? The challenge for us is to, is to, is to, is to put food distribution, food production and distribution together and ensure that both go in tandem. So given the COVID situation, which reveals how the poor suffer badly from such a, a, a problem of food distribution, we probably simply want, just want to draw attention to four basic points about, about correcting the situation, transforming the situation, and making it, making you know, the poor and those who live in situations where food security cannot be ensured, you know, a little bit, a little bit more, uh, live in an environment that is more affordable. So we need to first to look at the whole food uh, situation the food production system from the farm to the table and look therefore at the great challenge of not only in our production, distribution, consumption, and manage our waste so that even what needs to be thrown out can probably reprocess to do this. I can give you an example. Look at the mop, the hop, and the malt that is used in breweries. It's just been discovered that the waste it's so rich in protein that it can easily be converted to flour and go into making baking bread and pastries to nourish a lot of people. Second point that we need to observe is probably the fact that at the center of this debate uh, is, is you know, the need to consider the vulnerable communities, those who suffer from this, though the voiceless small-scale farmers and how they need to be supported and help to be able to support and to sustain their own communities. For access to food, in fact, is sometimes a question of right. People have right to food and to feed. And whatever we can do to enable people to realize their right, for this is the objective of the SDGs, human dig dignity narrative that leaves nobody behind. And it is our duty, as it were, to ensure that nobody is also left behind in this access to food right. Thirdly, we need also to think about developing and supporting sustainable models of food production, such as agroecology, such as uh, the use of, you know, improved use of traditional methods of food production, and all of that to make this all of this possible. And thirdly, to make resources, financial resources available, as well as the political will of governments and of the state to support and to invest in proper food production so that their populations are well fed. So dear friends, we just with these few thoughts want to you know, encourage all of you and to help ensure full security for the world, especially its poorest. Thank you. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're back again and we are about to end this incredible marathon. So in the meantime, I will ask to my team behind the scene over there, behind the wall, to start to join me because I think that for this, uh, say, uh, last 20, 30 minutes, I really would love 
to have you all here together with me after 24 hours <laughs> of global run. And uh, I would love to introduce two friends of uh, the Future Food Institute and of this, uh, of this marathon. The first one is now located in Hawaii. And last year was nice because uh, he was uh, watching the sun falling in the sea. And we were watching the sun rising here on this side of the world. I'm talking about Ramsey Kaum, founder uh, and president of the Life Enhancement Institute of the Pacific. And the second one even has, is another amazing friend of the Future Food Institute, uh, of Polica, of our community, and is Mark Brand, founder of a Better Life, Life Foundation. We're talking about Mother Earth, we're talking about uh, life, and today we thought that was the best way to celebrate uh, Earth Day. So I want to invite them on stage with me because, uh, oh, good morning. Oh, good morning for me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing to close this marathon with you two. Uh, I, I said I, I need the best soul together with me for this powerful closing, I would say. I still, I'm back. still talking, but I don't know how, because <laughs> <laughs> after 24 hours, uh, let's say, uh, it's a bit tough to, to find words overall, because I've been overwhelmed by in incredible good things that are happening around the world. There are so many bad things that sometimes to, to just see what people are able to do when they are joining forces uh, to build the better world i think it, it's really it's really amazing so thank you so much for being here with us and let, let's start from from you ramsey last year was uh, was great because uh, with the big aloha we were sharing with the world really what's the good spirit we should uh, bring with us uh, when we're talking about uh, the balance we need to find yeah, that's love amazing. You to share the law with the world again. Well, thank you, sir. It's, it's good to see you again. And we went right around the earth one whole time. So that's pretty good. <laughs> and you did it today and you did it last year. And it's just wonderful to be here. Mark, good to see you. Um, thank you for having, having me. Um, yeah, you know, we talked about aloha, the concept of reciprocity. It's a very special principle here. It's, we, it's a way of living and not just a greeting. And it really speaks about the relationship that we have with our place and one, with one another. And if there's any relationship that really locks us in and defines who we are, it's the food we eat. You know, in Hawaii, we say this concept, uh, hey, Hawaii, -o, I am Hawaii. And what that speaks of is that when I consume the food and the water of this place, that's giving me identity. Generations before me have continued to do this. So the reciprocity agreement is that I am receiving her and she's receiving me when I transpire and move on to the next space. And so by giving myself back to Aina, or we say Honua, Earth Mother, we continue generations beyond. And so it's the ultimate relationship between ourselves, this planet, island, Earth, and one another. And to talk about food is really to talk about us because in that statement, hey, Hawaii, yeah, we're really saying we are what we eat. And so if we don't know where our food's coming from, then do we really know who we are? And I think if anything, the encouragement is to begin to say, embrace that relationship, do what we can to take care of our places because if we are contributing food to others elsewhere, we need to be concerned about their health and their identity as much as we are our own. And that's the root of aloha. And so that's some of the things we talked about the last time. Um, and thank you for doing what you're doing because that's clearly a demonstration of aloha to all of us. So thank you for, for the opportunity to share that. Yeah. Yes, Tara. Yeah. So sending you lots of aloha, and lots of aloha for everyone in the world who's following us and that was following us since uh, last night. 
So really, really is a pleasure to, to have you at the end of this uh, journey because uh, what you're sharing actually is the basic principle, the principle of the golden rule, the principle that is telling uh, that we need to give value in advance uh, and uh, the spirit of reciprocity need to be the driver of all of our actions. So Absolutely. really, really Absolutely. It's, uh, so thank you, Sarah, for everything. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And then, Mark, I'm going to wear my mask because the guys are coming here. I'm so sorry, but we have to wear the mask. And um, let's close this session. I'm I know where you are. Guys, I stood come, right there come. in September. <laughs> bring them in. Yeah, I want to bring them in. Congratulations, everyone. Good job. Many, many. Good job. Way to go. Look at them. <laughs> the heroes. The heroes. They are the heroes. 24 Excellent. hour. That's family, Teamwork right makes a dream work. Good job. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, Mark, what we have to do from now on? What's the starting point? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm so... Uh, first of all, I feel um, I'm very emotional seeing the team, and I'm so excited to see you all in a couple of months in Polica, in Sicily, <laughs> in Rome together. I can't wait. Uh, I love you all, and I'm happy you're safe. And seeing you with your masks reminds me that we are still in this time. Uh, so I come to you today from the unceded territories of the Musqueam, Snohomish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Squamish nations, uh, the traditional landholders of Vancouver, British Columbia. And of course, our work is within food, food security and food recovery. And um, this last week, we celebrated a large milestone since we've been operating here for 10 years in the downtown east side, which is that we crossed 3 million meals uh, provided into the community by the community from providers of incredible products. And it's been a very long, long road but when I hear uh, an official from my government who preceded me talk about all the work uh, that's being done, I think about all the good work that the government gets to talk about because of the people who have done the work and uh, the people who I honor and represent. And so I'm, I'm so proud to be here and to think about waste recovery. We throw around all of these words and people talk about these plans that they have, but they, they fail the minutia. They don't talk to us about what they're actually doing. And I don't think it's not because they don't intend to. I believe that they wish they could. But when we started to address food security, we realized that to do so, relationships were paramount. True relationships, true partnerships, like the one I have with you, Sarah, and the Future Food Institute, of trust, of showing up, especially when it's hard, not just when the cameras are there. And what does it look like to truly be in community? So we thought about food waste and, you know, often we say, well, if it was so easy to actually recover food, wouldn't the grocery stores do it? Wouldn't the suppliers do it? Wouldn't everybody else do it? But we started to approach it in June last year with a few grocery stores, two people, an electric tricycle and a chef. And as of last week, we've taken 16 million tons out of grocery stores with that few people, almost no financial resource and gotten that into people in shelters, women and children, predominantly fleeing violence, indigenous populations, reconstituted it and offset thousands of kilograms of CO2. It's Earth Day. We're supposed to be working and we have to work. We can pontificate wildly. I love to think, I love to teach, I love to write, I love to dream, but a dream without action is a sentence for this planet. We have to be working. And so I appreciate and respect all the different stakeholders that come to our tables, that sit with us and talk with us and vice versa. We are all at different parts of our learning journey and we must respect that of others uh, for us all to be able to bring energy to it. But I, I often like to hear about proof. I really like to hear about proof when we say words like reconciliation, show me. Show me, you're good at saying it. So I love working with the Future Food Institute. This is a non-paid endorsement. <laughs> I adore the partnership that we've struck with the FAO. I love working with the United Nations Catalyst team. I believe in the individuals who are sacrificing every 
part of their most valuable resource, which is their time to try and help us figure all of this out. So Sarah, as always, it's an honor to be here with you. And I hope that that is helpful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mark. I think that this has been the, the best uh, ending for our marathon. I don't know if uh, Ramsey, you want us to do something together? That'd be great. You know, it's all about what Mark just said. It's about energy. You know, it's how we put and we get energy from food, but we have to put energy into the land, into the air, into the water, into one another. So in Hawaii, we call that mana. And so let's create some mana and create some energy. So I'm going to ask everybody to put your left hand out and say ma. 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 Yeah, that's soft energy. That's the feminine. Everybody put your right hand out and say na. Na. Yeah, so na is the positive energy. It's a plus sign. And so we put our hands together. We're going to create some energy. So one clap. Ready? Go. That's one. Two times. Go. Three times. Go. All right, let's keep it going. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the kind of energy we need. Okay. So good job, everybody. Because it's the hands and it's the energy. Excellent. You guys have done such a great job. Thank you for including us in this process. May the mana always be with you, as they say, when the force, the mana be with you. Mark, it's good to see you. Aloha. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank Aloha, you. brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you all. Hello, thank you so much. And uh, let's say, see you next year. Happy birthday. Ciao, 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 ciao. Thank you. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.